Hi guys, it's Ingenium here. I've got a quick tip to show you how to get some free performance, or at least very cheap performance, out of your Honda ICDTI engine. That's the N22A engine, that's in things like your Mark 7 Honda Accord, your Mark 8 um, Civics, your FRVs, your CRVs. It's the 2.2 ICDTI, not the IDTEX. This is a great thing to do to your car, it'll keep your Honda running smoothly, it'll help its efficiency so it'll, you'll get better miles per gallon, it'll run smoother, it'll run faster, um, so it's just positive things all around. It's pretty much free if not very cheap uh, and it's just something you should do every 20 to 40,000 miles I think and it keeps your engine running really nicely. So the first thing we can do on the ICD tie is remove these four bolts, there's one there, one there one at the back there and one at the back there. Uh, they're 10 mil bolts, so if you remove them and then we can get the engine cover off and then we can have a look at what we're doing. Right, that's the engine cover off now. So the two things we're gonna be focusing on today is this sensor over here. That's your MAF, your mass airflow sensor. Uh, we're gonna unplug that. This is just a plug here. And then there's two screws to take out there and we'll give that a clean. And your MAP, which is this one here, your manifold absolute pressure sensor. There's just a 10 mil bolt to be taken out and we're going to spray that. Make sure you use MAF cleaner or electrical contract cleaner. Don't use anything else because they might damage these sensors. These sensors are expensive and also quite precise so it's important that you use this stuff. Uh, so let's get that done. Just a quick note um, for the MAF bolts. See, now if you use something normally like this, this is your security torques. Uh, they have a hole in the middle and um, they're six sided. But the one that the Honda MAF bolt uses for some reason is a five sided security torque, so something like that. These are TS bolts. I'm sure it's either TS25 it takes or TS30. But these six sided. Uh, security torque bol bolts won't work. Uh, oh man, what a pain. I had to order some other ones and they didn't work and so on and so forth. So like I said, I got these off eBay um, and these work absolutely perfectly. So you will need these. I've not had to use these in any of the car, which is a bit of a pain. So you have to order these for the job. If you've got these, then yeah, the job's free. But uh, if not, you'll have to order these. It's not expensive anyway, so it's not too bad. Just to confirm, the MAF does have TS25 uh, Torx bolts or whatever you want to call them. Uh, so you'll need a TS25 bit. So the first thing to do is you press down here and then you pull that out and that'll get your MAF connector. Oh, battery started to go. Uh, make sure you plug this back in when you, you've you cleaned it because if not the car will run funny and I'll give you error codes and I've done that once like an absolute pleb. Okay, so we've got the MAF out. Um, it's a Bosch MAF. So what we want to do is in this hole here. Uh, I think that's where the air enters. We want to spray the MAF cleaner in there and on the back side as well, this this uh, wire, you want to get the MAF cleaner in there. Make sure you give it a good liberal spray and make sure you let it dry before you put it back in. Again, use proper MAF cleaner, uh, don't use anything else just because you don't want to damage anything. I think electrical contact cleaner might be okay as well, but just be safe because these are a couple hundred quid if they break and it's just an absolute pain if they do. I've already taken this apart and I've got to take a video of it. But here's the MAF sen the MAP sensor, sorry, the manifold absolute pressure sensor. Um, so it's just one 10 millimeter bolt. You take that out and you disconnect the connector and this will lift up. It'll look like a a bowl or like a salad spinner or something like that. Uh, just spray the MAF cleaner in there. You'll get some black gunk off that. Let it dry and then refit. And it's just the same with your MAF. Just so you know for reference, I'm using this liquid molly um, airflow sensor cleaner it comes with a little spray nozzle on it which is a little bit bent but you know it actually does the job so it's kind of fine so this is a job i recommend doing wholeheartedly because especially with the icdti's they're getting older now higher mileage stuff like that your economy is going to start to drop off your smoothness is going to start to drop off your economy is going to start to drop off um, i sprayed both the MAF and the map and i did get some black film especially off the MAF, but i did get some off the map as well um, I'll start it up now. Usually when you clean the map, it'll hesitate to start a little bit, but maybe one second and then it should start right up. You shouldn't have any error codes or anything like that. If you have, first thing to do, don't read your codes and anything like that. Check you plug everything in because I made that mistake once and I was starting the car up and I was reading the codes and all sorts, took off the engine cover again and it turns out it was just an unplugged MAF and that was just a pain. Make sure you put the engine cover back on as well, it's an acoustic engine cover so it kind of helps quieten down the engine a little bit as well. Um, but I hope that was informative for you guys. Just double checking the starts probably. There we go, lovely. So we took the car out for a quick test drive there. 
Uh, there's no hesitation when starting, so that was fantastic. Uh, we've cleaned the MAF and the map. We took it out for a quick test drive. There's no error codes, no nothing like that. Um, the car does seem to pull a little bit better, especially between 1,000 RPM and 2,000 RPM. Um, it feels smoother to accelerate. It doesn't feel that sluggish kind of like slow lethargic way. Normally, um, the way the car felt was over 2,000 RPM, it'd fly, but between 1 and 2,000, it felt quite slow and sluggish. So this has kind of uh, sorted that. Uh, I don't know if that was the map that did that or the math, but I just cleaned both because once you got the engine cover off, you might as well just do both of them anyway. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cheap, if not free mod. You do need that TS25 bit. And um, if you don't have that, then it's a bit of a pain, but you can order one. I ordered one on eBay. It was a full set of them. I think it was less than eight or nine pounds. It wasn't that bad. And some math cleaner. Again, cheap stuff. It's handy to have it lying around in your house, to be honest, if nothing else. But um, yeah, spray, spray your math down, spray your map down, get rid of that gunk, let them dry, put them back in, connect all the connectors, put them back in, put your engine cover back on, take it for a test drive. And uh, there's other benefits as well, like maybe the MPG will jump up. I've read that a lot of people experience um, some MPG games as high as 4 or 5 MPG. I don't think I'll get anything that high because when I take this car on the motorway, I'm getting 55, 60 anyway. Um, again, these Honda CDTI engines are absolutely fantastic. One of my favourite engines ever made. Um, if you guys need a hand with anything or anything like that, give me a message, leave me a comment, give me a like, give me a sub, um, and I'll try and help you guys out. Cheers.